just going to try to land it on top of this. All right, so we're here in Tim's lab here in Old Waverly. So let's check out and see what you see, Tim. We're going to do a little video review here and then go work on it out. Yeah, so you know, always one of the first things I look at when I'm just checking someone out is kind of making sure we got everything, all the joints stacked up on top of one another, basically 50-50 weight left, right. You're really good there. The ball, if anything, is just a fraction back, mm -hmm. but not bad. For a chip shot, we're, you're in pretty good shape right there. All right, now, well, as the club starts moving back, that's all so much better than it was the last time I was in Long Beach with you. Because yeah. remember before how much your pelvis was going over here, right? Yes. Remember, remember how you were uh -huh. jumping way uh -huh. over there on the left foot and then this leg was kind of like that? Yeah. So a lot better job here of staying more centered as you move to top, that's much better. And then as the club comes down here, that's a better strike, much more still in the center of the box. Now we're starting to get this, this knee. Obviously you can see how this knee now has sort of moved towards the left knee like we talk about in the videos. And that helps you one, to not hit behind it, but it helps you two, to shallow out your strike. So as you go to the top right here, oh, I see that. All yeah. right, then we really want this to move first yeah. before the hands move down. So now watch here. And as you see, the hands are still just slightly starting your downswing. Mm -hmm. So they're, as far as a the sequence, they're leading. They're leading the sequence. It's the first thing to move down, which makes you a little bit steep. Yeah. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll go outside and we'll work on that. And let's, let's just, for curiosity, I want to see this down the line view. Club face is nice and square. I'm a big fan of that, as you can see. Yeah. Like it's nice that. and square to the spine. So that's a very neutral face. And I would expect to see that club shift out just a touch. Because of the but sequencing. That's right, because of the sequencing. So if you watch here, we'll just track your sweet spot. Almost goes out of camera view. And just an ever so slight shift yeah. out right there. And that little shift out is the just difference between you, being just a, a little impact, just a little chubby. That's right. And it's just going to make, you know, on your solid shots, it's going to make the ball come off a little fast, a little low, and um, it will spin, but it's going to be a lower launch mm -hmm. shot as opposed to a soft uh, floating shot, right? So we'll go outside and we'll work on this uh, sequence just a little bit, and then we'll have you shallowed out in no time. Great. All right, Tim, so you're set up where I'm going to be. The one thing I can say is that my, uh, I'm good most of the time, but every once in a while I still feel, I can feel that it's steep, but I'm not as shallow as I want to be all the time. And me trying to get more shallow doesn't seem to help it. So right. let's work on some of what we just saw yeah, in the video. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at some of the technique pieces that we saw in there. And, and basically the biggest thing is like, go ahead and go to top and pause. So, if you pull down first with the hands, mm -hmm. that's going to make you have a steeper bop. Okay. Okay, so when you go here, the first thing that we want is that right foot to roll in, the right knee to move towards the left, and then everything falls, and that's going to help give you a more shallow Do that shallow without bottom. doing this. Yeah, that's right. Now, yeah. That's what we talked about last time in Long Beach, is we don't want to take it to the top and then and actually go here and then tilt. We're not trying to do that. We just want to take it to the top let the lower body start and then the arms fall through and deliver a nice shallow strike into the ball. So make a few practice swings. So I want you to take it to the top, pause. Okay. All right, now start down with the foot and the knee. There you go. It feels so slinky. All right, so you can, you can widen your stance just as, there you go. All right, now take it back about right in here and stop. Okay, now go first with the lower. There you go. All right, one more time. All right, good. All right, now let's go ahead and hit one here. Uh, Tamon, when I hit this one, should I pause? No, okay. no this is gonna be a normal swing. Oh, 
That was terrible. And I could see all my bruises were here on the practice ones, and right. it's back here. Yeah, on the, and what one. you'll see when you go back and look at the video is okay. you took it to the top and kind of tried to pause a little bit, but the lower body was very, very inactive. It didn't really do anything on the downswing. Right. So as you take it back, get the foot, there you go. All right, so what I want you to do is take it back to here, and then I want you to give yourself a little bit of a head start. So just before you get to the top, mm -hmm. we want to start here, okay? Make so like this, Tim, like? Yeah, without the hips jumping forward, though. So. No. No, still, t still tilting. In your mind, you, you got to think a little bit more in the foot and the knee and a little bit less in the hips. That was better. That was better. Yeah, definitely better. That was better, yeah. All right, so what's the drill? What do you want me to do? So I want you to take it back and just, I want, just before you get to the finish of your top, I want you to feel the right foot roll in, uh-huh, just like that, and kind of initiate the downswing, okay? Now, the, the hips are still gonna stay on top of the feet, so we're not gonna jump way out in front like we were talking about in Long Beach, okay? Okay. So your, your hips are still gonna stay on top of your feet and on top of your knees. Right. So you're just gonna take it back, let the foot, let the foot initiate the downswing, okay? Yeah. And then th that will give you a shallower strike into the ball. Yeah, that's okay. It's not. It's not that far off. Let, let me make a couple of rehearsals, kind of showing you, you. Let me be you for just a second. Okay. So when you're here, what you're doing is you're taking it back a little long. Uh -huh. All right. Then you're afraid to, from here to go ahead and start because you feel like you hit it too far. So you're letting your arms fall to try to get back, kind of where they really should be, and then you're trying to go okay. here. Okay. So it looks a little bit like this. You're going and then trying to. Just trying to time it all out yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, it definitely feels right. like a timing thing. So I want you. So when you hit this next one, what I want you to do is I want you to feel like it's a little bit shorter. So it goes back here a little shorter, and then this starts the downswing and initiates okay. Okay. the arms going down. Okay. Okay, I think I remembered what we were. Okay, I think I I, I got it now. Because that time. If I stay centered, I can kind of get like this, then I have nowhere to go. Right. But I kind of felt like this like so you, that I could go like yeah, this. Yeah, we talked about your belt buckle. We did that right. in uh, Norwalk. So. That's right, that's right. So I'm gonna go. That's a lot better motion. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, yeah I think. If I stay centered, my idea of centered is getting over this way a little bit. Uh -huh. So I have to feel this way to, yes. to stay centered so that I can then... Yeah, and see, the more the more your hips go towards the target, uh -huh. then the more your arms have to pull down to get back in front of your body, okay. in front of your chest. Yeah. So if you can, the better you stay centered, which feels like you're moving off of it, mm -hmm. uh, then the easier it is for you to initiate the downswing with your lower body. Not quite there. Make a couple practice swings. It's getting better. Okay, that was pretty good there. Yeah, good. Now, the one, one other little thing, if okay. this were a normal hour lesson, we'd stay here a little bit longer, but for time's sake, the, the second piece I wanna clean up just a little bit is your left foot. Okay. Okay, so make go ahead and hit a shot here, and then I just want you to hold your finish. Okay. You can move the stick if it's in your way. That's good. Now just go ahead and hit a shot and hold your finish. Okay, now don't move. Now you see how your left leg is starting to straighten? Yeah. And then you see how the pressure is in your heel, your left yeah, heel, yeah, yeah. and kind of on the outside of the foot? Uh -huh. All right, I want you to get your left foot a little flatter. Okay, now a little, there you go. That's like it, more of that right there. So we want to keep the pressure a little bit more in the middle of the foot. Let's don't jump quite as quickly into the left heel. That'll help your knees stay square like a little time. bit longer. There you go. Yeah, more like that. So we're gonna go here. That was much better with the left foot and the left knee. Make sure you stay centered. Don't don't jump over there on the left foot in the backswing. There you go, Brendan. Much better. Yeah, you're really gonna like that one. All right, last one. All right, so so let's kind of re review before we hit this next ball. Yeah. So we're working on as you take it back. 
you're going to actually kind of feel like you're moving off of it just a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, you're not, but you're you feel that way. Yeah. And then as you get to the top, everything's really centered. Shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles are still on top of one another. Uh -huh. And then from there, it makes it much easier for you to initiate your, your downswing from the ground up, okay, which gives you a nice shallow strike. And then from there, then we're just working on the stability of the left foot and the left knee at your finish. So, so it's really three pieces. So when you go back home and practice, you would want to set aside a certain amount of reps or a certain amount of time for each of those pieces, not try to do all three things at one time, obviously. Okay. Almost. Pretty close, Almost. yeah. Almost. Try to get one real good one. A little bit better left foot on this one. There you go. There we go. Yeah, very good. Nice strike. That was the one. Really good sound there. That All was right. good. Good job. Thank you. Tim is here at Old Waverly, full time, teaching 30 yards and in. Here, you also you can check out some very detailed instruction on how to have a, be, a, a better short game with the Be Better Golf Short Game Scoring System. Yeah, the Be Better Golf Short Game Scoring System. We also did a putting one as well, the Be Better Golf Putting System. You'll find both those things at bebettergolf.net slash premium. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm out faster than just throw them Right. I just think it's more consistent. If you had to hit 10 shots and measure the proximity of 10, I think it would yeah. be better than if you hit eight nippers but one skull across the green and one chunk. Right. Halfway to the hole. Right. Yeah, so that's, that's well, that really makes sense because, like, well, I'll talk to people and I'll say, okay, it's like pitching a ball, you know, and, and, and that brings up, that, that fits in perfectly with that. That explains that because no one tries to spin the ball backwards mm -hmm. when they do it with their hand. Mm -hmm. They just sit up here and we'll, we'll toss balls. Yeah. And all of them come off real soft. Yeah. So that actually fits into everything yeah. what you're no, talking no, about. I, I, like, I like your motion. Like I said, I, like your best and my best, you're not me against you, but like your best would spin, a, your pattern would spin it a, a little, little bit, bit more. more. Yeah. Now to launch it a little bit lower. Okay. And then spin it a little bit more. more. Yeah. Because we all know that the more you open that face, you just can't get a friction on a golf ball. Exactly. It's going, so it's going, it's going to kind of float. Right. But I like that shot. Now some players don't. Some players hate it. They want it low and they want it spinning. So we're going to go with more Jason D. There you go. Nice. So that ball will come off, it'll float a little higher. Spin rate to be a little lower. lower, but once again, that's the that's the, uh, the a little bit wider bottom.